hey guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i have the tober boxy charm 2018 i am so excited i just got the box um and i was like yes i have a video to film for them so uh yeah i am super excited to try whatever i have in this box i am not going to be using like two items which is for the skin but i will be uh showing them to you uh in my next video which is going to be like on the get on ready with me so you guys can see how the products work and all of that so um yeah stay tuned for that but um it's basically this one right here this is the this is a peel off mask and we have a green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm it looks like this these two i will be incorporating into a video like i said so just be prepared for that uh, but I am going to be using the rest of the product which is these two things and the palette which I am so excited about like this is the main reason why I am excited for this video so uh, yeah let's go ahead and get started Right, so uh, basically the title for this month box is uh, alter the alter ego um, basically and uh, yeah we have the it cosmetic mascara here I I don't know I never tried this before so we're gonna see how if it makes any difference on my lashes or anything like that we shall see um, also the um, the Kevin D everlasting liquid lipstick um, this is in the shade K dub this is how it's called I think this is basically a purple one yeah oh god I didn't want to get this one but I guess I got it so yeah this one right here I don't think I'm gonna be using that for today's video I think oh god this is so 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 dramatic like it will I will definitely use it but in another video you know um yeah that's too intense for me at the, at the moment I'm sorry about that <clears throat> um, but then we got the palette which is $38 and this is and it's from pure cosmetics so uh, that's basically it you guys I don't really like to go over this thing over this chart I think you guys are here because you want to see the products in you know in function you know you want to see them you want to see how they work and stuff and even if I don't use the skincare today like i said i will be definitely showing it to you guys in another video so don't worry about that um but yeah let's just start with the palette that's why i did my eyebrows and prime my eyelids so the way i prepare for the eyeshadow part how the palette looks basically um to be honest with you guys yes the color looks nice and everything I'm not gonna swatch them because of the simple fact that you know the majority of the time when you when you swatch it doesn't perform the same I mean it could be better it could be it could be worse so um, I just want to see how they perform on my um, eyes but I see that they don't have transition shades and none of the stuff here so I will be using another palette just to you know uh, just for my transition shade uh, I'm going in with my Jaclyn Hill palette just to add transitions into my crease and all of that and the first color I'm going in is called cream creamsicle all right so just to add a little bit of you know that burgundy shade on my on my crease i'm going in with the color called with the color called jazz I used the 12 a.m. shade which is this one right here it is shimmery but at the same time it's a basically a black color so I'm gonna be applying it right here on the very very outer V it has like that tint of um, that tint of gray grayish I don't know not my favorite but um, again just using it to apply it right here So 
so far very pigmented I'm not having any trouble on blending the shades or anything. I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Sneak Peek, which is the only matte, um, matte brown. And basically blend the edges of this eyeshadow right here, just on the very, very out of the area. Alright, so now taking a flat brush, this is not going to be a semi-cut crease, but it's definitely going to look like one because we are going to wet the brush so the way the so that way we wet the product at the same time and it will like act like if it like if it was a concealer but not really. Um, if that makes any sense. So basically I just took the product and I'm just gonna be spraying it and applying it right here. It is very pretty, but I wish it could be a little bit more metallic, uh, which is not, but at the same time, it's not, you know, it is a very beautiful shade anyways. I'm going to go ahead and use my finger to see if that's going to change anything. Yeah, no, not really. The palette again, and this time I'm going to take the brown shade and apply it right here on my lower lashes. it's done now I am taking the blue eyeshadow from the uh, palette which is this one right here and apply that on top of the blue eye on top of the blue eyeliner All right, so now let's just go in with the mascara from a cosmetic Alright, so here's the thing. This mascara cools the lashes pretty well, but um, it's like not curling the lash or anything. So you can see, like, I I don't have no lash, basically. It doesn't seem like I have any lashes. I'm going to let it dry for a little bit while I finish the rest of my skin to see if I can add a, like another coat on top and see if it's going to do something for it. Alright, so for blush, I'm going to go ahead and use this palette right here as well, obviously. And I'm going in for uh, Reveal, which is this one right here. And apply that on my cheeks. Taking it back. By the way, guys, um, this... The blushes has like shimmer inside. Um, yeah, just letting you know, just letting you guys know, it has like a little bit of shimmer inside. Yeah, I don't like how that looks on my cheeks, it looks a little bit patchy. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my skin so I can apply my highlighter and the highlighter I'm going to be using is this one right here which is called Twilight alright so this is a very very subtle highlighter very subtle, subtle if you're looking for something that is going to you know blind everybody <laughs> this is not for you yeah, I don't like the blush and neither the highlighter. I think they, they look a little bit too powdery for me. I, I don't feel like it looks nice on my skin. 
um yeah but so far i mean this is what i'm working with I'm gonna take this powder off now so let's apply another coat of the mascara okay so my final thoughts about uh, this mascara basically as you can see I have a, I have a mess going on I have to take have to let it dry so that way I can take it off really well um, one thing that I will say is that this uh, mascara does not separate the lashes like does not separate the lashes so be careful with that it's gonna look a little bit more clumpy than usual other than that I mean there's not much to say about mascara uh, yeah all right you guys so I just went ahead and applied the celebrity skin liquid lifted by Jeffree Star but um yeah I decided to use the purple today I feel like it turned out it turned out great i feel that this looks really good in person um the blushes like i say not my favorite but at the same time it doesn't look ugly you know what i mean like it's something it's something that you can wear but there is definitely better things out there than this I, have, I don't really have anything else to say about this look i feel like it looks good you know it's not bad it's not you know so uh it's a win-win basically because you are paying only $21 a month and you get more than that in the box so I'm really excited to be showing you the skin the skincare products because I live to like pamper myself and you know take care of my skin like I love that so this is all for today's video I hope you guys really enjoy please like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video and yeah see you on the next video bye